Clarissa and you're watching Soulful Studies Sunday where college girls come to redefine college and life success while learning simple and effective study skills. Now I don't know if you are a full-time student or maybe you're a working college girl like I was where I worked two jobs while going to school full-time. I don't know what your situation is, but what I do know is that you are probably telling yourself the biggest lie that most college students tell. And that is, I don't have enough time. And in this episode of Soulful Study Sunday, I am going to debunk that lie. I'm literally going to prove to you that you absolutely have enough time to get everything that is important to you done every single week and still have enough time to have a social life and to cultivate relationships and to cultivate yourself as a person. To do this, I'm going to share with you a scenario. We're gonna pretend that we are a full-time college student who works part-time. And if you live on planet Earth, that means that you have 168 hours a week. And if you are taking four classes in a lab, that's about 16 hours a week that you're spending in class. And if you've ever Googled, how much time should I spend studying outside of class, then you probably know that the general suggestion is that you should spend about two to three hours studying outside of class for every hour you spend in lecture. So if we're spending 16 hours in lecture slash lab, that means that we're gonna be spending about 32 hours a week studying outside of those classroom times. Now, here's the thing. We both know that you're currently not spending 32 hours a week studying outside of class, but that's the number that we're gonna go with because that is what is considered status quo. So if we're dealing with 168 hours a week, 16 hours of that time is gonna be spent in class, and 32 hours of that 168 hours is going to be spent studying, then what do we do with the rest of the time? Well, we're gonna assume that you have a perfect sleep schedule. So you're gonna be spending 56 hours a week sleeping, you're gonna spend about 10 hours a week eating all three of your meals seven days a week, you're gonna spend maybe 10 hours a week getting ready, dressed, showering, things like that. And we're also gonna assume that you don't live on campus, that you're commuting to and from work and to and from class, and that's about seven hours a week that you're spending in a car. And then we're gonna say that you work a 20-hour position. So that leaves you with about 17 hours a week that you can literally do whatever the heck you wanna do. So not only on a weekly basis are you able to spend basically a weekend doing whatever the heck you want, but you're also giving yourself enough time to earn an income with your part-time job or maybe an internship, and you're spending 32 hours a week studying, which is the recommended amount of time if you want to be a top student. So when you tell me that you don't have enough time every single week to study, to spend time with your friends, to read, to write papers, to work on a hobby, or to look for scholarships, or to look for internships, or to do things that you want to do, I'm calling bullshit. I literally am. The issue that you're having isn't that you don't have enough time. It's that you're choosing to not spend your time wisely. That's literally what it comes down to. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. What you're doing is choosing to spend the time that you do have on things that are not moving you towards your goal. You're spending it binge watching Netflix and watching other people live their lives on YouTube via vlogs. You're spending it waking up at 11 o'clock every single weekend. You're spending it napping or chilling out or mindlessly scrolling through your phone. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? We're human beings, there's nothing wrong with that. But what I need you to understand is that what you focus on, what you spend your time on is going to yield certain results. So if you're getting C's and D's on your exam, you can't be upset because what you chose to spend your time on wasn't gonna get you those results. A student who wants to be top of the class is going to spend their time very differently because their priorities are different. And that's really what it comes down to. It comes down to understanding what is it that you want out of college? What is your purpose for being there? What do you envision your college life to be like? And then what are your top five priorities? What's important to you? 
And if your schedule doesn't reflect what's important to you and what your five priorities are, you're gonna feel super out of line. You're gonna feel stressed all the time. You're gonna feel like you're being pulled in a million different directions because you don't even know what you want. You don't even know what should be getting your time. I want you to understand that you need to stop blaming other people. Your situation sources outside of you for the fruits that you're bearing in your life. You're the person that's making all of the choices. And if your life doesn't look like how you want it to look like while you're in college, guess who's to blame? It's you, my friend. So we have to start making a change. We have to start changing our mentality, thinking differently. And I want you to stop saying, I'm busy or I don't have enough time and say, I choose not to spend time on that. I'm choosing not to start my paper four weeks before it's due and instead start it the night before it's due. I'm choosing not to study for my exam and instead cram two hours right before I have to go in and take it. I'm choosing to hang out with my friends instead of going to that study group that I probably should be at because I'm failing my chemistry class. I'm choosing to spend these four hours that I have free in between classes watching a show on Netflix instead of using that time to catch up on my reading, which I'm four weeks behind on. Do you see the difference? It's not about you not having enough time because I literally just debunked that to you because 168 hours and you're spending all of that time wisely, you're still left with enough time to engage in those other activities. You're just not managing your time properly. You're not managing it well and you're the only person to blame for that. So I know that this topic has probably rubbed a couple of you the wrong way. It's probably made you feel uncomfortable and you know what? It needed to be sad. And if you do have some like weird feelings about it, go ahead and comment below. I want to know, do you believe that this is true? Did this set off a light bulb in your head? Did this give you a new perspective? Let me know if this helped you at all. And let me know if this is going to make you make a change in the way that you're managing your time and the way that you look at your time and the way that you decide what you spend your time on. Because if you say something is important to you and the fruits of that are not reflecting it, then it's really not important to you. Where you spend your time, what you focus on tells you what your priorities are and where your time is going and if you're not happy with the way your college life looks right now you need to take a serious self-evaluation on why it doesn't look that way so that was the video that's what I wanted to say I hope that you found it helpful I hope that this is helping you start thinking about college differently and thinking about your life differently these videos are gonna get a little bit more real a little bit more raw they're gonna make you feel a little uncomfortable and I'm okay with that because I think that not enough people are talking this way. Not enough people here on YouTube are giving the, the truth, the raw facts of what it really takes to succeed as a college student. So if you found this video helpful, let me know. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the episode of Soulful Study Sunday you just watched. I have so many more study skills and practical college advice in the Rock at College system, a step-by-step -step blueprint for creating your own study system. Get better grades without the stress, overwhelm, and lack of social life over at rockatcollege.com.